cheating in video games has reached an all-time low and i'm not joking i'm not over exaggerating i've seen some stuff today related to apex and then recently call of duty there are some serious issues with pc gaming right now and i cannot blame console players for not wanting to play with this so if you aren't aware there was an apex esports or lgs event that just went on recently players were competing against each other mid-game some hackers were able to distribute cheats to some of the professional players now a lot of these players like imperial how for example have a lot of notoriety have proven themselves on land they don't cheat what made this very obvious it wasn't them was it was happening to multiple players throughout the entirety of the online event i'll definitely be playing some of the clips here but it's insane we've reached a brand new low where hackers can distribute cheats to other people while they are mid game actually i even saved a tweet basically explaining how this whole thing works First and foremost, I could not get over the fact that the guy who did, one of the guys who did the hacking, his name is Destroyer2009. What year are we in? Where This is some Lizard Squad shit, bro. We're getting hacked on by Destroyer2009. <laughs> Here's one of the clips from Imperial, or I'm sorry, Pro Gen Burton, another pro, uh, pro Apex player. He has won three Apex championships at LAN. He, he's not cheating. He's won three events on LAN. This was happening to other players simultaneously at the same event. I'm getting hacked, bro. I know, I know, it's true. Can you play the game? Bro, I, I'm getting hacked. Like he, know, they, they just play, gave him yeah, wall but hacks. I, it's cheating. What the fuck? I know, I know, it's true. I know, I know, I know. Hey, what? Like, like I've what? never seen anything like this before. Like, We're just gonna YouTube listen. Game. Yes, I can see everyone. Like, I'm. You need to leave, you need to leave, you need to leave. I, I didn't leave the game, right? Yeah, yeah I'm game. leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, like, what the oh, Admin's now. Nick, admin's now. Nick, admin's now. I left, I left. Like, Honestly, I, I was a little concerned that if you leave the game, you get auto disqualified. But I feel like this is a now, different type of situation. Can you your game rejoin. Oh no, you left the match. Did you close your game? Leave the match. I left. Jen, I had to leave. Did you leave the match? I have to. Yes, I have to. Yes, I have to. I have to leave. I left. And if you don't understand, this kind of stuff could be career destroying for a pro player. There's already so many terrible channels out there, like Call of Shame or Bad My Boy Beeman or whatever that actively go out of their way to already ruin legitimate people and their careers just for fun. But then you got shit like this happening live. Like, you know how easily, easily it is, especially for people on the internet to immediately hop on the train when it comes to hating somebody and calling them a cheater. It's so easy. It happens to so many people all the time. Bro. Fine, we win this, come on. Come on, you got that, boys, uh, come on. Ult it forward and see if it's fixed, bro. Hmm. I'm shocked they just kept playing. Yeah, so you got that. Break the wall. They're fucking dying. Yeah, they just played it out. That's impressive, honestly. I'm thinking, I think I have to go for a second. All right, so I don't think there's really too much else here to kind of um, really show. It's insane. And I'm pretty sure we have another clip right here from Imperial Howl that we can look at. Shout out to Jake Lucky, by the way. They're, sh they're shooting bridge. They're, they're, they're pushing. Come take the building. Come take the building. Come in. All right, watch can this we shit. Shoot? Can we shoot height? Can we shoot height? Yeah, yeah, shoot now. I'm, I'm, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm, I'm fucking shit. I got aimbot. I have aimbot. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Now, what's funny about I'm, this clip, right one now. of the Everybody guys he knows, he ended up just shooting anyway before he left the shoot? game. What if I just don't shoot? This whole event didn't count. Okay, we gotta get to another building. Get to another building. Can we get to another building? Pretty certain he just didn't want to back out because of the risks that are associated with backing out with this kind of stuff. You don't ever want to just get disqualified. So, Raven, tell them I have aimbot right now. That's the same. You just get cheats mid game. This is all the same server. Okay, wait, no, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, I'm cheating. No, I'm I, I can't all right. I can't even, all right. I really cannot. I gotta admit, I, I think he should. He should have probably just called it quits and just like left the game. But again, the risks that are associated with that are scary. Like you don't want to get disqualified. I can't. I knocked one. I knocked one. I'm rising. They're trying to get in. Block me. Block. Block. He's just gonna keep going. <laughs> I killed one, I killed one. All right, yeah, I definitely think he should have probably called it quits instead of actually like playing like forward with the whole with the whole thing. Uh, I think just continuously going on is a little not a good way to go about it, but either way, it was funny. The whole event got canceled. Uh, none of the stuff that happened today mattered at the end of the day. Again, none of these players are cheating. They have land repetitions. They have proven themselves on land events, you know, local area network, in-person events, on computers you literally cannot cheat on in person. They've proven themselves. Again, this was happening to multiple people throughout this entire server. I've got a tweet right here that sort of kind of breaks everything down, basically. PSA, there is currently an RCE exploit being abused in Apex Legends. It is unsure whether it comes from the game or the actual anti-cheat, by the way, EA laid off a lot of people from Apex, and I believe a lot of people were associated with 
their um, anti-cheat department. I could be wrong. I, I'm willing to be corrected about that one in the comments. I would advise against playing any games protected by EAC or any EA titles once they have fixed this or can comment. Currently, RCE is being abused to inject cheats into streamers' machines, which means they have the capabilities to do whatever, like installing ransomware, locking up your entire PC. So for one, you shouldn't play Apex right now. And then there was this follow-up tweet, attention to all players who participate in the ALGS tournament, I strongly recommend that you make or you take immediate measures to protect your personal information. It is advisable that you change your Discord passwords and ensure that your emails are secure. Also enable MFA for all your accounts if you have not done it yet. Perform a clean OS reinstall as soon as possible. Do not take any chances with your personal info. Your PC may have been exposed to a rootkit or other malicious software that can cause further damage. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Now, the easy anti-cheat is used by multiple games as a matter of fact i was playing Helldivers earlier today wait no it's not used by oh all right hell divers doesn't use eac it uses a different anti-cheat never mind we're golden i don't think i've ever seen a level of cheating like this in, in video game history for one i don't understand why people enjoy doing it what's the fun in it yeah let's just ruin everybody else's life so cool i just maybe i don't have the mental capability to be that fucked up or that much of a loser to really understand this kind of crazy shit but it's just mind-blowing to me that people will go actively out of their way to just ruin somebody else's life to ruin their possible you know their careers possibly i just don't understand this shit it makes no sense to me it's one thing i guess if it's some stupid shit like rage hacking where you're just like locking on to people or whatever you have the option to at least leave the game i mean there's really nothing you can do about that but to be able to inject cheats on somebody else's computer ruin their whole career potentially is just to say to me that's a level of degeneracy you should for one definitely be jailed for in my opinion and two th there's got to be something that's possible to stop that kind of shit people cheat in valorant and valorant has a literal kernel level anti-cheat system People obviously cheat in Call of Duty. Call of Duty is one of the worst offenders. We played the first Warzone, I think, for almost two years with zero anti-cheat. Ricochet barely works. Every time I'm scrolling through TikTok, I literally find people just spin-botting in lobbies with wall hacks, with aimbot. They're fat, they're like super fast, they're able to jump all over the place. They're just spinning in a circle or just looking at the ground insta-killing everybody in the lobby. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why this era of cheating, I guess it's because PC games have truly become more popular. I think for a long time, console games were by far the most popular form of gaming and cheating on a console is damn near, well, impossible, pretty much. Obviously, it's not like a PC where you can just have free access to get inside of a computer. There's so many different back walls and things you have to go through for a console, so it's not as easy. I'm no technician. I don't really fully understand like the philosophies or how things work with anti-cheat, but I have a general consensus and understanding. I used to work in IT for three years and it, it makes sense. I understand uh, the basics. I've just never seen shit like this before. It's ridiculous, man. We can't enjoy video games anymore. To be honest, I've been tempted to play COD on the PlayStation 5 that I have purely because I don't want to deal with running into more cheaters. I've ran into cheaters in Warzone. I've seen people get cheated on and ranked on Modern Warfare 3, which has basically turned me off from playing ranked in general. I know I've been uploading a lot to the channel lately that's only because i found a lot of people that actually like to play ranked so it's a little bit more fun but solo queuing or even playing with friends still isn't as enjoyable as it could be to me really because what's the point of me grinding levels getting to a high level if i'm just gonna be slammed on by cheaters i know there are people that out there that'll do it like cod pros and you know pros and apex and stuff obviously there's a lot of cheating in apex in general it's just such a deterrent for people like me or the casual people that actually want to give it a shot imagine you're a new guy you find out about apex for the very first time or call of duty or whatever you try out ranked and the first person you run into is aimbotting wall hacking it's like we just can't win i think this is why single player games are also legitimately on top this year we've got hell divers 2 we've got power world we've had a plethora of really really good single player games obviously these all can be played via multiplayer but these aren't pvp games these are all just pve related games games like these are popular because everybody's tired of getting hacked on nobody wants to play cheaters I know there's a big stigma with thinking a lot of the big streamers and stuff are cheating. That's either here nor there. I don't know anything about that shit, to be frank. I don't worry about what other people are doing with their lives if it ain't got shit to do with me. If something is wrong, it'll come to light eventually. That's the way I look at it. And until then, I'm just fucking, I'm just like, fuck it up. You know, we ball, whatever. I'm gonna enjoy whatever I can. If something comes to light and those people are degenerate pieces of shit, well, then I stop fucking with them. But I'm not gonna hop on that, that weird hate train that people have for a lot of content creators. I guess as a content creator myself, because it's pretty shitty just to get shitty messages all the time. People calling you a piece of shit and trashing on you. That's no fun. That gets so exhausting after a while. But I fully understand 
from both a competitive and a casual perspective on why people are just exhausted with cheating. It's gotten so bad. It's gotten to a point where I'm in full belief and in full agreement that console and PC do not need to have crossplay anymore at all. It should not exist. The PC versus console it should be a PC only thing. I know that would suck for the player bases. The whole point of crossplay is to allow you to play with your friends, or, you know, your family, or you know, if you just want to keep your player base alive, cross like play is necessary nowadays. But at this rate, it's like, what the fuck is the point? At least it needs to be an option. I don't even think you could turn off PC crossplay for like Call of Duty. I don't know about Apex, but COD, I don't think you turn that off. It's ridiculous. I really, 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 really just despise the era of multiplayer that we're in. It's full of microtransactions, half-assed games, cheaters, anti-cheats that tweet out, you know, shout out Ricochet that tweet out every week or a couple of weeks. Hey guys, we banned 60,000 hackers. And guess what? 60,000 more just bought new fucking accounts. So you know what that means? Everything we just tweeted about and got hyped about didn't do a fucking thing. <laughs> You know the part that pisses me off the most when it comes to Call of Duty? They're focused on so much shit. The microtransactions, the stupid AI voice chat moderation system that nobody gives a fuck about because it doesn't do anything. Well, and most people that play Call of Duty don't care about what people say in voice chat because that's just a part of the culture. They're focused on shit like that. But when it comes to things like anti-cheat, I don't know how I got on Call of Duty from Apex, but you get the point. When it comes to that kind of shit, they're just not doing whatever they need to do to stop the situation because obviously, obviously, Warzone, Modern Warfare 3, we don't have nearly as many obvious hackers anyway, rage hackers like we did on Verdansk, dude, those days were horrible. They were funny, but they were horrible. Because cheating back then, when there was no anti-cheat, it was literally every lobby. Every single lobby of Warzone from 2020 to 2000, and like early 2022, nothing but cheaters in almost every single lobby it was terrible i don't have any qualms with modding like if you're playing a single player game i play a lot of single player games that i mod i'm part of big modding communities for single player games that's perfectly fine you're not harming anybody but just uh, it, it, it's made me hate playing multiplayer games like i love playing modern warfare 3 actually i actually really enjoy this call of duty but I don't really touch ranked that often unless it's with specific friends. So if I'm gonna play Warzone, I might as well play pubs because if I get cheated on, I don't lose shit. So I feel about like regular rank too, I might as well just play pubs. I mean, at least I won't run into cheaters ruining my day. I can still have a good day with the game and I can back out without losing anything. It doesn't matter. I don't know, man. It, it's, it's an embarrassing state of affairs that the gaming community really is in right now when it comes to multiplayer games. Counter-Strike is another game that has notably had a bad history with hackers. You cheat in League of Legends? Like, what, what can you realistically do in League of Legends when it comes to cheating? Like, just up the amount of gold you're getting per like minute or second or however the hell that works it seems just to be really these fps games that have the worst of it man there's just so many cheaters it's embarrassing it's really embarrassing apparently people have been complaining about the anti-cheat for the longest in apex Let me see this that. is apex's right, anti-cheat yeah. arms up good. <laughs> i got a bag let me see that good. next all right next that's Warzone, that's Ricochet. I'm honestly, hearing this Apex news has really kind of allowed me to forgive Ricochet just a tiny bit because at least we don't have to deal with that shit. Now, I'm legitimately never gonna play Apex now. I, I don't wanna risk it. That sounds terrifying. I use my PC for work. I have a job that I do with this computer. I cannot risk any of the information I do with that job ever getting leaked, obviously. You, you will never see me touching Apex on this channel or on any of my streams. I just don't see a point now. Apex did tweet out, due to competitive integrity of this series being compromised, we have made the decision to postpone the NA finals at this time, North American. We will share more information soon. All well, this comment section is going to be lethal. Destroyer 2009 smoking that play Apex pack right now. <laughs> Time to address the anti-cheat system. Apparently they have had a bad time with addressing the anti-cheat system. Now they have a reason to because if people's information is going to be stolen through their, through video games, their video game, this is a terrible look. I just got two crazy snipes today. I think I might be Destroyer 2009. <laughs> Not a great look. <laughs> this is also scary because this means anyone can get hacked on by whoever this is and falsely banned. This is so worrisome for the integrity of the game. Yeah, this goes beyond just the competitive side of the game. Anybody can get cheated on and given hacks apparently in the Apex now. So you are potentially at risk of getting banned if you play this game. Apparently these messages showed up mid-series. Uh, DZ, Gen Burden by Destroyer 2009 and 4 and Random. Apex Hacking Global Series. This, this is insane. They're just straight up putting messages in the chat now. What the 
<laughs> and the crazy part is we'll probably never find out who these people are. Yo, but you get hacked on one playing Apex Legends. Charlie, my hands are off the thing and it looks like they're trying to move for me. Yeah, I'm being hacked. I'm, I'm being hacked. I'm being hacked. Oh my God. Can you super glide <laughs> for once now? No. Dude, yes, I am being hacked. I can literally see a guy up here. Oh my God. They, they gave me like free highlights. Hold up. Wait, you have There's a guy hacks? up here. There's a guy right here. Oh my God, bro. It was a rat. It was a rat. <laughs> what? Bro, I'm being hacked. Wait, is this a real clip? Wait, wait no way. You have wall hacks right now? Dude, wait. The hacker's sending me a message too. Look at this. You see that? Pex nope. hacking. Tony Romero by <laughs> Avatar the Backbender and Throbbing Williams. Oh my God. <laughs> what? What kind this of names are those? Oh my God, dude, that, the hacker just pulled up my browser. I, I'm still not controlling stuff. The hacker's pulled up my browser. All right, this is yeah, a troll. Your, your browser up? Yeah, dude, he's Yo, looking what? up how to buy something. What's he trying what to buy? <laughs> Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson tickets. What? He's buying Jake Paul. Oh, he's tickets? looking how to buy Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson tickets. How much are they? Uh... I don't know. He's, he's giving up. He's going for something else now, it looks like. He's going for something else. What is going on? Hello, people. Oh my god, Apex Legends Global Rule 34. Hey, that's a good no, page. No, I'm not no, gonna lie to you. I'm shutting off Sorry. my computer. Stop. We're done. <laughs> Multiplayer games are in the worst state that they've ever been in in the history of multiplayer games and it's honestly sad and really pathetic. Hope you enjoyed this little video it's kind of just talking about shit. I don't usually do discussion videos like this. Maybe I will. I kind of enjoyed actually talking about some different stuff for once, but it's just disgusting to see that we're in this weird situation, man. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new here, I upload Call of Duty videos and periodically some other kind of multiplayer or whatever kind of video. Be sure to leave a like on this one, subscribe to the channel for more gaming content. We're almost at 2000 subs. And as always, this has been Jay the Gamer. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace. Don't play Apex Legends.